Almost four years after his shocking death, the bizarre life and demise of Michael Jackson will play out again in a $40 billion civil trial that pits the singer's family against the organisers of the musical comeback that never happened. Opening statements began on Monday in what is expected to be an emotional three-month-long jury trial that seeks to hold AEG Live, the promoters of the Never Realised series of 2009 London concerts, liable for the wrongful death of the thriller singer. An attorney for the concert promotion company AEG Live warned jurors that they would see very different views of the charismatic Michael Jackson as the company seeks to prove it was not liable for the pop star's death. Marvin Putnam, making his opening statement, said AEG officials had no idea that Jackson was taking the surgical anaesthetic that led to his death. He said the three-month civil case would bring to light some ugly stuff about the singer's private behaviour. The lawsuit, brought by Jackson's elderly mother Catherine on behalf of the singer's three children, alleges that privately held AEG Live was negligent in hiring the physician convicted in 2011 of his involuntary manslaughter to care for the singer while he rehearsed for the series of 50 shows. Thomas Messero, the attorney who successfully defended Jackson in his 2005 child molestation trial, said evidence in this case supports Catherine Jackson's claim. I think it's an uphill battle for the defense. I think those emails are very, very damaging to the defense. They acknowledge they're paying Conrad Murray. They're putting pressure on Conrad Murray to make him perform. I think they had a contract under California law. And I think the sympathy and the momentum is going to be with Catherine Jackson and Michael's children. Jackson drowning in death and seeking to rebuild a reputation damaged by his 2005 trial and acquittal on child molestation charges, died in Los Angeles on an overdose of the powerful surgical anaesthetic propofol and a cocktail of other sedatives in June 2009. His personal physician, Dr. Conrad Murray, is serving a four-year prison sentence after being found criminally negligent by administering propofol to Jackson as a sleep aid.